Good day guys, been here. Uh, previously we did uh, an exercise about the Jibao uh, culture, culture center. So today uh, we're going to add some panels uh, onto this uh, structure. Okay, so let's start. So first, let's open this file. So you should be able to find this file uh, from the last exercise. And um, looks like uh, we need to turn on the mass so we can select it. So I'll just delete these two and only. Okay, so we have this one. Well, let's turn off the shadow, maybe turn off all the graphical thing, setting. Okay, so now this is the the mass we did and then we use adaptive family to place them along uh, the the mass okay so today we are going to let's edit this mass family so now let's have a look uh, maybe let's click click on 3d view so it will go yeah go to the so this 3d view so actually i think this is a camera view I'm not quite sure but Let's go to this uh, default uh, 3D view. So now let's have a look. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll hedge hedge all these uh, framing. So now we we can see this is the divided surface we use to 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 um, to have these nodes. So we, on which we place the uh, adaptive family. So but we won't be able to. Uh, directly place the panel on here because if if we change so for example if I ch add a U grid and you will see we will create all these little uh, structure adaptive families so no we can't do this so control Z um, so it's uh, you can do this actually so we can just ignore this let's just HH so what we need is another face so we can just select this reference line and create a form a solid and also link this H here to the positive offset so we will have this mass again and then once again we can cut this solid with the void here see this void so cut so now we we, uh, we have another uh, form so on which we can place the panels so let's t try to tab 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 oh, it's a little bit hard to select so let's try this face tab 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 okay so this one S select see this one so we can divide the surface so now this time we can create this uh, grid so previously um, let's just have a look at this one so I'll select this one or uh, not this one HH let's select this one I think uh, the the grid should be the same so maximum 1.5 meters okay so let's select this new divided surface so let's uh, for the V grid, I'm going to use maximum spacing, 1.5 meter. Okay, so now you will see it will match these. And also for the uh, U grid, I'm going to use um, fixed distance. Uh, let's just use three meter. I think three meters is fine. And just make sure, just to change this to beginning, I just want to the panels. Uh, start from the ground uh, actually I'm not sure which one which uh, let's try uh, if I type in one meter yeah so one meter offset so which means this is correct so here this the bottom of this uh, these grids are the beginning so okay so now we can turn on the nodes or oh, actually hell we don't need nodes because this time uh, we are not going to place adaptive family instead we're going to just create a, a family 
a pattern based family. You can you can use either the curtain panel pattern based or there is this a generic model pattern based. I think they are the same except except the category of course. So let's just use this uh, curtain panel pattern based. So I'm just going to uh, because from this image you will see there's no framing it's just support by the, um, the structure so and I'll just create a very simple face okay and maybe we can if you want to you can create a material parameter for it but I'll just create a material so I'm not going to create a, a a louvre family or you know very complicated old panels instead i'll just use uh, um, what do i call it uh, <laughs> panels okay oh where is it here so instead i'm just going to use some pattern so surface pattern so let's create one. Maybe I'll I'll use a two hundred, uh, and then horizontal something like that. So H, and that's that's it. And OK. So OK. So this is it. And then I'm going to load this into that uh, family. And then so we can so we go back to this three D view. So select this. Uh, divided surface and then go change this pattern to that family so this way we will have all these panels so if I type HR okay so these are so actually uh, I forgot to mention uh, that uh, looks like there are so internal panels and also external ones okay so these are for the internal one because they are very simple and you can use the existing uh, face, existing uh, mass, this surface to create them. So it, let's just go, uh, actually, let me just go Control Z, go back to the, uh, the temporary hidden. So, yeah, without all the structure. So you will see it match all the the edge actually we don't need those panels so we can change select this and change this to uh, empty so this way all these edge one which um, no not without full points so see these panels go up here so there's no point here so so if we use empty all these panels will be removed okay if we change to partial it will cut these panels and if you change this to overhang so it will go extend these panels to to be a full panel so in this uh, in this exercise so we only need this and also if you so for example if you want to reduce the number you can even tab you can use tab to select them and delete them okay and also, if you tab select one single panel and type IC, isolate category, so this way, there will be only all these, uh, these panels. It's, now it's very easy to pick. Oh, okay, so you can just pick one and use the delete key on your keyboard. Okay, so let's do something like this. And then. Okay, so. Um, and now if HR you will see all the panels there and let's just try it again uh, we're going to place some panels here okay so first I'll HH this uh, structure and also I'll HH this um, previous the previous uh, uh, divided surface so now because we create a new solid here so we will be able to try a uh, tab select the new face here so this one so you will see actually you pick both sides of these you know two sides 
both sides sorry and then you can use devoted surface and once again let's change this to uh, fixed um, oh sorry maximum spacing 1500 center and for the U grid we can change this to fixed distance with a uh, three meter and and use this uh, change this to beginning okay so now you will see uh, yeah, it will match the one on the, the other side okay so now we can go so with this uh, divided surface still selected and we can just change it to family one so now you will see this and then change this to uh, empty so so this will remove all these edge panels okay and then that's it HR so with all the structure there so if you want to remove extra so you can just tab select one panel delete tab select a panel oops and or you use the delete key on your keyboard okay so maybe delete delete a little bit more delete delete something like that okay so that's that's it for today um, this is quite simple because we already have this face uh, next time uh, next in the next uh, exercise uh, we try we will try to place some external panels that because we don't um, we don't have a solid or a surface to match the external frame so it will be a little bit harder than this one so I'll I'll explain to uh, I'll explain uh, to you tomorrow. Okay, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.